It is you. When Anna told me, I thought there must be a mistake. How did you get here? On the same train as you, but I was travelling in third. Why? Because I didn't want to speak to you in a railway carriage with Tom and everyone else listening. Would you like some tea? Yes, if I may. I assume you're going to give me an explanation at some stage. It's not complicated. I've made a long journey to ask a short question. Will you marry me? Tony, you don't know me. How can you say that? We've known each other since we were children. Yes, but with a very long gap in the middle. We only met properly a few days ago, and now you want to spend the rest of your life with me. Yes. That's exactly what I want. I love you, Mary, and there must be a way to convince you. Ah, James. Could you bring us some tea? Very good, my lady. Look, I never met Matthew, but I'm sure he was a splendid chap. He was. But he's dead and I'm alive. We're good together, Mary, and we could be so very happy if you'd let us. And Miss Lane Fox? I like Mabel. A lot. I even think that I could come to love her. But I'm not in love with her as I am with you. You fill my brain. I see you when I close my eyes. I, I, I can't stop thinking about you. Where you are, what you're doing. You're very persuasive. Then be persuaded. I only wish I could. But not now, if you don't want to. You take as long as you need. Two years, three. Just so long as I know that you're going to marry me in the end. Tony! Why on earth are you here? Did you leave something behind? No. I had some business nearby, so I thought I'd look in. Are you staying? Uh, yes, if you, if you don't mind. I brought a bag on the off chance. And your man? I didn't want to make a fuss. It's only one night. 